Hey everybody, it's Blood Little Peace. Welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. In the last episode, we took on Agrabah and fought Vexen as Riku, and now we're getting ready to take on the next world. And from now on, the videos are going to be a little bit better organized with the whole cutscene thing. Basically, now I'm going to start every video off in the hallway, take on a world, and then finish off with the next floor and whatever the organization's cooking up. Alright, so in this episode, we're going to take on Monstro. And honestly, Monstro is the least of my concerns throughout all the first four worlds that we got to do. And remember, I was saying that I was going to have a lot of trouble with him as Sora because of the whole HP thing and being surrounded by acid. That's not going to be the case this time. Because we have a new power on our side. And I'm not talking about the darkness. We've already gone over it, but I'm going to save the specifics for whenever we actually go fight the final boss. Or actually the midway boss. We don't fight all the Heartless to actually get out. We do this. Um, let's see. I want to save all these roulette room cards. I cannot believe I have all those from the last episode. Like, if I can't get any card I want or need, there's a problem. <laughs> How many do I have? Uh, not the... Well, I'll wait till I get to a door. Actually, I need to check where I'm going. Uh, I just gotta go straight. So, the hardest part about the world is actually navigating after you fight the boss so that you can get out. This is odd. Uh, but, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and play this too. I don't wanna play Mingling Worlds, cause... There's always that chance that there'll be a blue card. Like, I know all the worlds have required cards for the bosses. But, I don't know them, like, off the top of the dome. I just go up to one and say, oh, I need this? Okay, I've got it. Or, I need this? Let's go grab it with a roulette room. So, perfect room to actually use a roulette card. There you go. Blue. What'd I tell you? And actually, I did not do any fights yet, but... You know what? Don't, don't really need to. Man, I would love to know what cards I'm using, but... It's really no big deal. Now, this is what I like doing with... Parasite Cage. Like, break off his cards as fast as possible. Get in darkness mode. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, no! I didn't break the cards. Okay, now. Oh, crap. No. I don't have a six? Hmm. I think now you see where I'm going with this. I just didn't expect them to play a six. That was the one card that was not by me, and normally this is extremely easy. So... The two attempts to beat each boss run continues. Alright, once again, I'm just gonna keep doing this. So I can get in darkness mode as fast as possible. And then... Like I said, I think you know where I'm going with this. Dual mode, activate! Bam cards, win the duel. There you go. The damage! I like the double jump too, because whenever you double jump, I don't even think I mentioned double jumping at all yet. You end up uh, doing a backflip that puts you behind whoever you're locked on to. Okay, now, Mickey, I need you. I need this too. Okay, heal me. Get a little bit. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. And here it comes. Mickey, get out the... Get out the acid, Mickey. Where... Where Mickey? What? The, what? Where's Mickey? Like, the 
car just never appeared. My parasite cage. I was thinking that you were going to be the easiest boss because of a little gimmick that I was going to use, but you're being a nuisance. You know what? I'm not even going to get a darkness mode. I'm going to fight you just like this. All I'm going to do is break. Just me. Perfect. There we go. Take this. Still some good damage. Oh, perfect. And look at this. Dual mode, you don't get hurt by the acid. That's another reason I like it so much. Yeah, my problem was darkness mode. I kept on wasting all my time doing that. Just me. Whoa. Yeah. Take this. I wish I hadn't done all that foolishness. Come on. So now this is the easiest b battle ever, and they give you so much time when you have higher amounts to break. I, I never fail these. Like Threes, sometimes actually, because oh crap. Okay, do a little healing. Again. Reload. Oh, I could just use the four. Oh wait, that card lasted a long time. Yeah, like Alright, so this is the easiest way to deal with Parasite Cage. Hope you like it. Okay, um, I had no sevens ready. Seven, five, four. There you go. Can I get a Mickey card? Or six. There you go. Add a game. Add a game. There we go. See, add a game. You know what I need. So yeah, I guess I shouldn't have rushed darkness mode. That was my biggest problem. Just straight up dual mode. There you go. Okay, with that level up, I'm going to boost my attack. And now I want to see what the Parasite Cage does. Because honestly, when I played a Sora, I never, ever ever have used any of the boss cards that I've ever gotten but with Riku since they're free might as well learn what they do all right let's see absorbs enemy HP when striking with attack cards but fewer items drop wow okay so that's what the search ghost does I've never even seen that thing um all right all, always nullifies the enemy card oh so that's like a ace in the hole that is it exactly trustworthy, I'd say? Alright, now wait. I hope this is not a dead end. Oh, I hope this is not a dead end. Oh, I got so many freaking roulette cards! Four level threes? Are you kidding me? Okay, good, I can keep going. I need a heal. Just in case I do get in a battle and someone plays a card. Okay, that large body was all up in my body. That was weird. Let's never do that again. Alright, now the next room's right there and I'm just going to have to touch a save point. So, no need to get HP orbs. Now, let's climb the giant bone ladder. I, I never understood why did they find a long ladder to be so significant in this process. Anyway, let's move on, see what we got. Okay, and there may not always be cutscenes as soon as you come out the room, you're actually gonna have to climb a flight. There you go. What's happening to Sora? Namine's powers are being used to shuffle his memories as we speak. 
My Lucia may well succeed in getting his puppet. Sora would be a valuable asset to the organization. But my Lucia and Laxine's actions, they... leave me quite uneasy. And then there is Axel. Who knows what that one is thinking? Vexen should take care of this. His replica is soon to be completed. But Vexen despises Marluxia. Think of the mess it would make. So we must tell him. Isn't it better that Vexen clean up the mess than leave it to us? <laughs>